thank you God for showing me how you intended for my life to be. Thank you God for guiding me into a world where I can be just me. I love the mountains, the trees, and the streams. I love the desert and wildlife it brings. The freedom of my life allows me to roam. Wherever I go, it becomes my new home. So I'm a mess. I always have this little bit of hair that wants to stick out. Anyhow, I've been really busy for the last few weeks. I had planned to go up to have a soon, spend some time with Dan and Judy, and get out on the lake a little bit. But things always seem to come up. So one thing that happened is my refrigerator, my refrigerator drawer came off came loose and the corner where it's attached has a little post that goes up the top. So I'd take the door off and readjust and get it working. I wondered why things weren't very cold because the door was hanging down. So apparently the rubber seal wasn't sealing the fridge door. That's crazy. I It was given to me as a trade for something and the fridge is really decent. But I changed the door from one side to the other, and that's what happened. I've had it for a few weeks. It's great. Anyhow, I got that fixed. Then I had to make a doctor's appointment because I was out of my thyroid medicine. So I had to make an appointment to go see the doctor, and then I have to go get lab tests. Then he ordered the prescriptions, but it was delayed. So it took a few extra days for that. Then I had some packages come here to the RV park where I'm staying. And I had to wait several days for that. So I, while I was waiting, I decided I'm going to do some projects. So I took a trip to Blythe and Parker to get the materials I needed. I was pretty much completely out of my, all my leftover wood. And this these projects would involve wood. So I'd go get some wood and a few other things so like wood glue and new more nails for my nail gun and little odds and ends clamps. So I had to do that. Then I had to go get my mail, do a little bit of shopping and work on, on and the yard area that I had to clean up where I have maxi in the daytime when it's not too hot. I had to clean that up because I had a lot of scrap and stuff. Of course, the dumpsters are overflowing, so I can have no place to put that. I just had to stack it up in a great big pile. And I got, also got some emails from companies that want me to do their for some advertising for them. I turned them down. That's not who I am, and that's not what my channel is about. If they ask me to review a product, product that I think you would appreciate, I will do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to do just advertising for companies. I just won't do it. Anyhow, so today I'm going to share a video clip of one of the projects I worked on. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll give you the details and the dimensions and everything I use. Show you some of the work I, I was doing. And I, I really hope you enjoyed. So here we go. Hello friends, Box Van D here. Today I'm sharing a project I've been working on. I'm creating new shelves for over my kitchen counter. The box truck that I live in has 6 by, foot by 10 foot uh, inside space. At the back of it, is one foot of garage and 28 inches for the bed. The counter along the driver's side of the wall is two feet deep and has is 55 inches long. I also have 20 inches of microwave fridge and 
food storage space at the end of that. I keep only the bare necessities in my truck, but I've completely run out of space for the things I need. So I decided to build shelves over my kitchen counter. Had a shelf over there, but it didn't hold hardly anything, and it really is too bulky. So I decided to use a little lighter wood, and I wanted to build a shelf and a spice rack. So this is what I did. Anytime I work on a project in the truck, I have very little room to work. So I had to move everything onto the bed. And then I have a little bit of room on the counter to put tools and things I'm working on. The floor space is very minimal. Everything's on the bed. The shelf I had in here over the counter was just big enough for my microwave. I moved the microwave and that shelf was very bulky. So I decided I'm going to put in a new counter that goes all the way from the refrigerator area all the way to the bed. So I cut a piece of wood. I drew a design and I cut the wood out to be 55 inches from the fridge to the bed. It's 13 inches deep on the fridge side and 11 inches deep on the stove side. This is what the shelf looks like before I added trim or did anything else. I added, added a leg to the left end by the bed to raise it up 11 inches and come out 11 inches deep. The place I had my power strip before was hard to get to and the cords were all in the way. So I made sure I was able to put it on the end of the shelf right next to the fridge area so it would have easy access. I added a one and a half inch trim across the top and the back of the shelf where the window is. Then I painted the entire shelf in white and added a little brown blended into the shelf to give it some pizzazz. <laughs> in every small rig, there's very little room for spices. So I wanted a shelf under the main shelf that goes the same length and can put all my spices and miscellaneous items on that shelf. So I cut the board for the spice shelf 5 inches deep and 55 inches long and it added little uh, braces for underneath the ends to raise it up about 5 inches. So here's a lower shelf I put in with bare wood as the wooden ends to bring it up five inches. I also have five inches under that shelf I can use for storage space. With the counter, I have a lot more room. I doubled my space in this uh, counter. I painted this to make it look nice. I wanted to add some decor, so I'll show you what I did. So the paint stands out really nice. It's very light blend, but I think it did a lot for this shelf. And then on top of that, I wanted to make it look pretty. So I added these flowers. I use a glue gun, bunch the flowers together and glued them on the outside of the shelves. I think it looks pretty. I have a very nice, pretty kitchen now. So I hope you enjoy this. As a nomad, I've always believed in being progressive. I always want to do better. So I stay very busy doing projects and things. It makes me happy. I love working with wood. I love trying to decorate, even with what little bit I have to work with. So I started out in a car. Then I moved in the cargo trailer. I, did, I built that out. Uh, then I moved in the box truck. I built that out. I built this out twice. I'm not going to rebuild this whole thing. It's done. Whatever it is, it is. But I do make changes all the time because I find that my needs change. And the ability to have easy access and simplicity is good. But I also like things to look nice. So <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit of a perfectionist. It's hard to be a perfectionist in a little six by 10 box, but I make do. So 
Someday I'll have a trailer, a lot, a 20 to 25 foot trailer, real trailer. Then uh, maybe I'll sell the box truck and that at that point. But in the meantime, this is what I'm working with. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the notifications bell so you won't miss my next bill videos. Thank you for coming. Be sure you tell somebody you love them. Oh, thank you.